Alrighty guys, so trying out something new. This is a uh, recording from my phone. I wanted to try recording with it as well as uploading. Um, but some folks have asked for some stats with my uh, char my new charge controller. Um, it's about 10 a.m. so the, the sun's not hitting the, uh, the panels yet. Uh, so we've pulled in a little bit, uh, 7 amp hours, um, pulling in 95 watts um, and charging at uh, 6.9 amps. Um, so it's reached bulk which is good. Um, right now I'm only powering the uh, refrigerator. Um, it's just not cold enough to turn the furnace on yet and we definitely don't need the uh, AC anymore at this point. Alrighty guys, here's a uh, quick view. Um, it's about a half an hour later. Gained a couple amp hours and voltage is at about 150-ish. Um, something else I was going to share though is the, uh, the temp. Um, basically where my uh, instruments and so forth are, as well as the batteries, um, temps usually stay pretty low, so quick battery temp reading, as well as the uh, charge controller and parts. Um, something really neat that uh, Midnight Classic gives you is all the different temp readings. Okay, so as I showed you guys before, anyways, I have the Whizbang Junior. Um, that one's set up on Auxiliary 2 where they recommend it. Um, but on, on Auxiliary 1, um, I have it set to Daylight setting. Um, you can narrow that down a little bit more or even set up a custom one, I believe, so you can set it up to come on during certain times. But that's what um, keeps my Zephyr vent going so that um, the uh, hydrogen gas is always being vented out during uh, charge states. Alrighty guys, so it's about 11.15, um, we're already in float, which is good. Um, right now the uh, inverter was kicking on, that's what the, the fan that you heard there for a minute. Um, but basically that was uh, just kicking on for a minute as the uh, refrigerator pump turned on. Once the uh, refrigerator turns on, or actually sorry, it's not even a refrigerator, it's a freezer, but once it turns on, um, it runs for maybe like... 10-15 seconds the wattage on it drops way down drops down to like about 70 or 80 watts so then the fan on the inverter doesn't run uh, right now um, you can see that we're only pulling a little bit over 2 amps uh, most of that's actually being consumed by the uh, inverter itself when the uh, freezer first kicks on it'll it'll pop up to maybe about 8 amps or so uh, but we are at 100% charge already by 11 in the morning, and it's a, a partly cloudy day, so it's not uh, a typical Washington day.